Moving a sprite with the keyboard is one of the first things that most Scratch programmers want to learn. This tutorial will show you how. When you look at the control palette, you'll see a trigger block that says when space key pressed. Drag a copy of that block into the workspace. Click on the black triangle to open the drop down menu for the block and select up arrow. Once your trigger is ready, switch to the motion palette so you can add a command. Connect a change Y block to the bottom of your script. Be careful not to use the set Y block, it won't work. Remember that if you ever want to see what a block does, you can simply right click on it and choose help. For example, here's what it tells you about the change Y block. Change Y by a positive number moves the sprite up. Change Y by a negative number moves the sprite down. When you test this, you'll see that clicking on the up arrow moves the sprite toward the top of the stage. To move the sprite down, you can use the same pattern. Save yourself some time by right clicking on the top block of the script and choosing duplicate. Drop the copy into the workspace and modify it. Change the trigger to the down arrow key and the change Y block to negative 10. To move the sprite left and right, you'll need to change the sprite's location on the X axis rather than the Y axis. Make another copy of the script, pull the change Y block off of it, set it to trigger the right arrow key, and add a change X block to it. Now copy this script, Change the trigger to the left arrow key. Change the number in the change x block to negative 10. And test your new interactive sprite.